Hey guys, it's Ghost Project one here with another episode of my uh, Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, add some basic textures to your like block and things. Okay. Um. So when I say basic, I mean like really, really, really basic. Like you, it's only going to be like how to add a baseline texture. So, like there's going to be no code involved in any of the actual item or block classes. Okay. Um, instead of the actual separate classes, but the only place we're actually going to need this episode in terms of programming, we're going to only need the item class and the block, the main block class. Okay, so these two classes here, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, because literally we only had to write what? We literally had to do a dot uh, set block texture name in here, then it's dot, dot set texture name in here, in bullet, and I'm that one, so it's only one line of, not even one line of code. Um, we're just going to get straight into like, things outside of Eclipse, okay. So what you want to do is you want to go to wherever you've got your, your MCP set up, so like my like I always keep saying, mine's in my documents, inside of my programming folder, inside of my MCPs, inside of my YouTube tutorials folder. And I'm, you see I'm actually in my MCP workspace here. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to go to, you're going to want to open up source, go into main, go into Java, assets, okay, so make sure, um, Basically, because like obviously, I did a, lot, a, a name tutorial. Okay, so what you want to do, and since I already have it because I got language in here, is you want to create a new folder, okay, called assets, and place it inside of that um, source main Java folder. Okay, so once you've done that, you go inside of that folder. You want to create another folder called TM. Okay, well not TM. It's going to be what your modded ID is because it makes it easier. So you see, if we go into Eclipse and I open up my strings. To go to my library, look at the strings. You see, my modded ID is TM, okay? So just keep things, see, uh, uh, my modded ID is TM. So just to keep, keep things simple, call it TM, okay? Make sure it's lowercase, no capitals, okay? It has to be lowercase, okay? Once you've uh, created that folder, go into it. And now this is where the interesting thing gets, it gets in, okay? You want to ignore lang, okay? Because uh, that's my made in previous tutorial, so um, that was for names, okay? But we're going to cover how to do textures. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to right click, hit new, folder, and I'm going to type textures. Okay, I'm going to go into that folder, I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to do a new folder, I'm going to call it block, and I'm going to create another one called item. Okay. Okay. So once you've done that, um, now we want to create the actual texture. So what I'm going to do is you're going to want to have a program installed, okay? Something that you can, allows you to like, draw pixels. Paint, uh, like Microsoft Paint, uh, will not suffice. It's not good enough. It's not high. It's not high end uh, enough software. It'll, like make your texture look weird and things like that. Okay. Um, you can use Photoshop if you wanted, but a good free one which I use is Paint.net. So I'm just going to launch my Paint.net app. Paint.net. Okay. And we get a photo. Uh, open up like this okay I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit new and I'm going to create some a um, file at 16 by 16 okay because Minecraft if you've noticed when you've been playing the game previously if this is your first time on in is done in 16 by 16 textures okay so it's the same thing here okay so the first thing we'll make is our block texture okay so you see if we just leave white stuff in the, in the middle if we can actually draw anything we want in here we can make it look like anything Okay, we could even take other blocks in the game and make them merge if we wanted to, okay? But what we're going to do, we're just going to create a basic block that's going to be red. I'm going to have a big T, which stands for tutorial, there uh, inside, okay? So, now we'll just use the writing to have them drawing it. T. Capital T. Like so. Okay, it sounds for it. And... There, okay. That is my block texture, okay? Now I'm going to create an item texture. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, let's put it this way. In terms of context in, like, real situations, okay? When you um, create in your block texture, you don't want to leave... Unless you're trying to do trickery, um, you don't want to leave any of, like, this stuff, like, right in the middle. So you can't just have a T, because it'll just appear on all sides. Okay. Um, but I'll show you, like, cool things where you can have, like, one-way glass and things, like, when we do multi-sided multi textures in a different tutorial. Okay, but today it's just going to be a normal basic texture. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new another file. 
It's going to be 16 by 16. Hit OK. And I'm going to make this... Uh, I don't know. We'll make it look like... It's going to be... No, let's just write... Let's, let's just have a... We'll have a... TI. TI, okay? And that's... DAS stands for... Tutorial item, okay? I don't know, very, very unique. I know it's such a unique word. Like, yeah, no one's ever thought of it before. Okay. But anyway, so that's my item texture. And that's my block texture. Okay. Now, we need to save these things to our workspace, okay? So I'm going to save it. Inside of my documents, in my programming folder. Inside of, yeah, my MCPs. Inside of my YouTube tutorials, which I'm going to go into my MCP workspace. I'm going to go into source, main, Java, Assets, I'm going to go to that folder, my TM folder, my textures folder, and my block folder. Because this is a block uh, a block texture at the moment. I'm just going to call this tut. Touch block. Okay. See, so I'm going to save it as a PNG, not a JPEG. It has to be a PNG. I'm going to hit save. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the same with my item. Once it decides to do it, okay. I'm going to go into textures. I'm going to go to my item. And I'm going to call it tot item. Like so. So I'm going to hit save. Hit OK. And that's it. OK. So now if we go into our Eclipse, you'll see we have a folder called assets.tm.textures.block and also a .item one. And you see that thumbs is something that comes automatically. I don't know why. But um, yeah, it just comes with it. And that's it's good. OK. So that's the point. OK. So we've got a block folder and we've got an item folder. An item image okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to my block file first and I'm gonna go at the end of um, where I initialize my block here I'm gonna go dot set block texture name okay so what you have to do here I'm gonna type strings dot mod ID plus colon okay because the colon not separates that from that so it says to look inside of that bot that folder inside of assets Tut block. In fact, we can even have that like that, and we can even plus and um, like the top block dot unlocalized name, but it's easier just to write it yourself, okay? So I'm gonna write tut block. Like so. Okay, but that's our block texture done, believe it or not. That's it. That is literally all we have to write to get the block texture in. So now I'm gonna go to my tut item. I'm gonna go dot set um texture name. I'm going to strings again, strings dot mod ID. For those of you who don't know what, don't know what mod ID is, it's just in here. I'm just, it's basically because it's, these are my designed to go with my tutorials, and yeah. But anyway, so if, if you didn't have a strings class, you'd write, um, t uh, rather than having the strings plus thing, you'd write tm, literally. You just put tm in front of the colon. So I'm going to do plus, colon, tot, item. Believe it or not, guys, that is it. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to run the game. I ran the server. Wrong one. Run the client. It's going to load up. And once it's in there, hopefully soon. I mean, that's five seconds. Five, four. Has it crashed? Oh, no, there we are. Loaded. Okay, I'm going to go to single player. I'm going to go to my new world. And they're not textured. Oh, I know why. Go back. The game. The reason they're not textured is because we have to go... Uh, I, I named the folders wrong. It's rename blocks and items. Run. And now that should launch nicely and be registered with everything. So now we launch back up. And you see we have our textures. Okay. That was my bad. I wasn't too sure if it was item or items. I, I just went with the first thing that came to my head. It was just item. Okay. So that's how to build our custom block and um, text. Our custom block and items. So, okay. So actually if we just play sort of all around if we wanted. That's our block. 
Here's our item. It's that. Rotates on the floor. Same with the lock. Obviously, if we had it in fast, it would just bobble. The item would just bobble up and down and won't rotate like a block. But, fancy computer, fancy graphics. Run at 60 frames a second. Solid. That's what that's what the bottleneck of Minecraft bottlenecks are. Occasionally, I've had dip. Um, of V Sync, well, that's it. You see, there you go. I had like a one frame dip, but anyway, besides the point, hey guys, thank, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, I guess. So, um, see ya. Bye.